Hi everyone, I am Ankur Singh Bhatti, rank 238 in UPSC Civil Services Examination 2018. I am here to discuss with you my strategy for my optional that is sociology in the UPSC Civil Services Examination. I will try to cover my strategy about preparation in this exam, about answer writing and how to write answers in the mains exam and about uh, the resources that I have referred in the preparation stage. So see sociology as a subject is extremely vast. But sociology as an optional of UPSC has a very limited syllabus. So as a result you will never face a problem of dearth of resources in this optional. Rather sometimes you will face a problem of excessive resources and choosing out the relevant material from those ocean of resources in this optional. The solution to this problem is that you should stick to the syllabus. Slavers aap sabhi ko yaad hona chahiye. There are 10 topics in each paper and you should remember each and every topic and each and every subtopic in this that slavers. This will help you to uh, take out the material, to select the material from the resources which is relevant for this exam. This will also help you to select the re material relevant for the exam from the newspapers as well. The newspaper, the editorials that you read have a lot of material that has to be written in the sociology paper. So once you remember the, once you uh, remember the syllabus then you will be able to select out the material which will be helpful in the exam. So stick to the syllabus and second thing is do complete the syllabus. Uh, you will have to do 5 questions out of 8 in the sociology paper but this does not mean that you can leave any of the topics in the given in the syllabus because many a times what the examiner does is he mixes the, uh, the topics and make a question. So in that case you will be stuck. So do please complete the syllabus whether you will have to do 5 questions or 8 questions whatever. So you will have to complete the syllabus. The second thing is about answer writing. See answer writing in uh, sociology has to be in an explanatory form rather than a factual form. You cannot bombard the examiner with the facts, the thinkers, uh, uh, the theory etc. Because the person who is checking your paper has been reading sociology from last 25 years. So when he is a subject expert you cannot impress a subject expert with the theories and facts given in the books. But you can impress him with your understanding, with your explanation, with your application of the theories into the real life situations. So whenever you are trying to write an answer, be it a very simple theory for let us say historical materialism of Karl Marx, try to explain it in the paper as if you are explaining it to an 8th eight, standard child. So do not write only factual things in the exam. While you are writing an answer, try to build up a narrative in that answer. How to do that? You will have to put in your viewpoints in the answer first of all and then you will have to get support of the thinkers and the studies and theories uh, for your viewpoints. It should not be the other way around that you write the thinkers that Durkheim ye kehta hai, Karl Marx ye kehta hai, Max Weber ye kehta hai. That all is okay but where is your viewpoints? So uh, the answer should have your viewpoints supported by a thinker or by a study. So that is the way how do you write an answer, explanatory answer with your viewpoints. Thirdly, uh, when you are choosing the questions, you will have to do 5 questions out of 8 as I said earlier. So when you are choosing the questions, please do choose the questions very intelligently. And if you take my advice, try to attempt the questions which are new, which are not to be found in any of the books in the sociology. For example, this, this year there was a question on hashtag me too. In none of the books of the sociology you are going to find a uh, material for hashtag me too. It is completely new and it gives you an arena to, to give your ideas, to give your innovation and your viewpoints over the topic. If you write a question which is already been asked many a times, which is a theoretical question, which is there in every book, for example, uh, Durkheim's uh, theory on religion, then the thinker, then the examiner has been reading the answer to that question for the last 30 years. उन्होंने graduation में भी पढ़ा था, post graduation में भी पढ़ा, 24 last 25 साल से पढ़ा भी रहे हैं। So you cannot write something to impress him। तुम कैन, तुम अलग से कोई ऐसी चीज़ नहीं लिख सकते जिससे वो impress हो जाए। But for hashtag me too, it's a new thing for him as well, a new thing for you as well। तो उनको पढ़ने में interest आएगा। He will be interested in looking into your answer and your viewpoints। तो try to attempt the questions which are dynamic in nature, where you can give your viewpoints and where you do not need theory only. Theory in any case you will need with your viewpoints but only theoretical questions attempt karne ki kam koshish karna. 
then then another important thing is that do attempt all the questions see sociology is not mathematics it has a huge gray area nothing is right or wrong in sociology so whenever you are writing an answer in sociology uh, you support your answer you write your viewpoints and support your answer with some thinkers then it will be a correct answer nobody can give you a zero if you write an answer in sociology because everything is uh, to a certain extent correct in this subject so do attempt all the questions never think that you cannot answer the question with the particular question and leave it blank so uh, all the questions are to be attempted even if the examiner is going to give you two or three marks in both the papers it will get you at least 10 marks extra, uh, extra. and in an exam where there is a competition cutthroat competition for a single mark 10 marks are going to create a huge difference so do attempt all the questions now coming up to the resources part although the resources and the book list is different for all the people all the aspirants have a different book list but there are certain things which you need to keep in mind first of all you need not read any book from cover to cover no harlem boss no ritzer is to be read from cover to cover just take out the part which is relevant for the exam and read that part only because uh, syllabus jo hai bahut limited hai and uh, you have limited time as well we need not do any phd or we need not do any research on sociology our only aim is to get score in the exam and pass the exam so do not read any book cover to cover first thing second thing in the paper 2 which is a very dynamic paper uh, you will find a problem of getting resources so while uh, while studying the paper 2 try to connect the topics in paper 2 with the newspaper readings see there are many topics like caste there are many topics like class in india etc which uh, religion in india political parties in india you will find an ample material for th those in the newspaper editorials so try to connect those topics with a newspaper editorial and make your own notes particularly in the paper 2 there is a huge role to be played by the igno notes so igno notes both both ma and ba are to be read by you as per the requirement of the syllabus so read the igno notes take out the notes uh, uh, make your notes from the uh, those pdf and uh, those files etc and try to connect them with the topics because paper 2 may you don't find a book like herlumbers or something where you can find the material directly you will have to read uh, igno and find out the material for yourself this was for paper 2 for paper 2 there was uh, also thinkers in paper 2 as well for those thinkers you can refer to the material by any uh, by any coaching institute or you can uh, go for Nangla, there is a book by Nangla, so you can go for that book in paper 2. Uh, in paper 1, the thinkers are to be done with the Ritzer, particularly Durkheim and uh, Karl Marx are given in a very, very lucent way in uh, Ritzer, so you can go for Ritzer. And then in the topics which are common in paper 1 and paper 2, again you will have to rely on the IGNU material. Then uh, there are certain topics like religion, like family, which are given very good in Harlem Boss particularly the current trends in these topics uh, there is a in every end of the uh, end of the every chapter in Harlem Boss is covered for the cur uh, current trends in those topics so do refer those things and uh, make your own notes on everything and you will do good so that's all from my side uh, god bless thank you